your eyes everyone in today's episode we're doing some work on my 2015 Dodge Ram 4x4 Eco Diesel and if you haven't heard it already I got a bad wheel bearing I'm gonna take care of that so stay tuned diagnose a couple things. There's a few ways that you can find out if you have a bad wheel bearing. First one is the sound. That crazy, mind-bending, annoying sound. When you drive at high speeds, low speed, doesn't matter. If you turn and turn and turn, all you hear is whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway. But here's the second part. Jack the truck up in the air, put your hand on your front spring, and you start spinning. You can actually hear it like this too, but you shouldn't feel like a grinding vibration on the spring. That's the feel wise. Now the other way is, you shake the tire up and down. Don't confuse the lower and upper ball joints by the way, but a lot of times if they're really bad, now this is being a 4x4, uh, there's a nut in here that holds it, so you're not really going to find any play there, but sometimes you can. But anyway. Now all we gotta do is take that tire off and get to work. to take this caliper off and the bracket and the good thing is we can take it off right there your 21 millimeters take that out take that out take this whole thing out and then we're gonna hang it up onto the uh, upper control arm to get it out of our way is I like to get myself a big zip tie and tie it up here up out of the way up on the upper control arm because you don't want this big old thing a big old caliber hanging down because this is only rubber you let it hang it stretches it and it damages it all too many times I've seen mechanics do that where they just leave that thing hanging and it causes problems There's one good way that you can tell if your rotor has never been replaced on your vehicle. 
You see these little tabs here? Those are the stock tabs that come from the manufacturer because when it's on the assembly line, they put it on and the robot shoves that on there so it'll line up so you can put the brakes together. taking the rotor off, don't hit it with a hammer. Hit it with a rubber mallet. You'll damage stuff using a hammer. I've actually seen rotors crack from using a hammer. Don't do that. Now here's your wheel bearing. You saw in the last clip we took the center uh, nut out. But you see here, it's got three bolts holding this thing on. One, two, and three. Now to access them, they're right through here. See, we had to push the axle back a little bit just so you can get to them. You see, right, right there. And right there. But the first thing I like to do is take the ABS sensor loose. Even though it's not really going to matter because we're getting a new ABS sensor that's installed on the wheel bearing itself already. And then this one wants to be a pain in the bolts. There we go. Great. All right. time to uh, put it on don't you wish it was that simple 
No, but anyways. Here's the new one right there. The reason why these things are so expensive, like this one cost me about $175. It's because they have the ABS sensor built into them, which most vehicles are like that these days anyway. But doing this stuff yourself will save you a lot of money and hassle. Well, before you install the uh, wheel bearing, coat this with a little bit of, uh, what's that, what you call that stuff? Oh yeah, they call it grease. A little bit of grease here, even grease on the threads, this thing will slide in a whole lot easier. All right, before the install, what I like to do is put all three of those bolts in the holes so I can line them up and get them started. It's a lot easier to move the uh, bolts when axles got free play. There we go. And of course, make sure you put the ABS sensor back in. Put it back in the clips. You don't want this thing to get messed up or you'll be doing this uh, wheel bearing again. Drop it down, give it a little spin, see if, you, if, the, uh, if that vibration changed or not. I think we got it. Be a quiet ride home.
man. Just guys, you guys just don't know. Man, this thing's quieter than it's ever been. But anyways, one wheel bearing installed and it sounds terrific. I just, I wish you guys could hear this. You can't hear anything. I tell you what, Dodge Ram trucks, they're the best riding trucks. Well, I'm kind of biased because I own a Dodge Ram, but, uh, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And if you like more great content, check out this one, this one, and oh yeah, make sure you subscribe on that one. Until next time. Bye.